On this episode of Deep Fried What, we're doing us some Mediterranean food, bitches. First thing we gotta do is make us some batter. Oh, and you ever drank Bailey's from a shoe? Today we'll be deep frying some Lamajan. It's like a flatbread -y, pizza ish type thing with minced beef and onions and all kinds of tasty spices. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah, buddy. It's like a purse. A lot of things don't give off this much aroma when you deep fry them, but this one, it smells like something special. Sounds crispy. Oh. That was fucking amazing. Okay, it didn't, didn't look like a bad face. Mm. I need to go in for another. Yeah, you do. Get in there, boy. I wish there was a little, a little bit more meat bits in there, because I know there's meat. So, man, biting into this thing is like, it's, it's so good. It's like, it's like a garlic cheese or something in there. There's a little bit of other things and some really nice herbs and spices and shit. Yeah, I've never had anything like this item before. So this is, uh, this is pretty nice. Delma. <laughs> That's the only one? <laughs> and not only did I have a dolma, but I got a falafel. Maybe we just one. one next. Just one. Just Yay. one. That's a falafel. <laughs> Dude. That thing. Big thing. Now I'm doing a falafel. Yay, and then does the falafel as well. That'll teach you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, That's going to be a smoky grape leaf. <laughs> 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 that is a great bee with rice that has been deep fried. Um, I'm gonna give that a slash. <laughs> <laughs> These things did not need to be double salted. <laughs> <laughs> but like the double deep fry like so like the crunch that you would have had around it to begin with almost kind of like turned into like a weird chewiness and then you have the crunch of the the new batter and then you have like the soft middle I don't know how to describe it like it's good chicken shawarma <laughs> if you've never had chicken shawarma, you should get it. You should get it, you should eat it, you should try it. Your herbs should be cooked off in the oil, right? Oh, oh god. Okay. Bend the burrito. Bend the burrito. <laughs> I should use toothpicks, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna dunk it. Dunkaroo. <laughs> Come on, wrist strength. Yeah. There's a lot of vegetables and stuff in here, but oh, bring that in. Bring it just that in. feels good when you hold it. <laughs> this is pretty goddamn delicious. Um, the one thing that's detracting for it for me is not in the way we deep fried it or anything, it's the way they set up the sandwich. Uh, it's more like a chicken salad shawarma mm. than it is like a, what I'm used to of a grilled chicken shawarma. So it's it's a little, like the texture of the chicken, chicken salad-y. And you get all, a ton of vegetables in there so it's a little moist and wet. <laughs> Which is, I mean it's okay, but it, it, this is like, I've definitely had better chicken shawarma sandwiches that would deep fry even better than this, even though this is absolutely delicious. And here we have a kofta kebab. Ooh, look at all that goodness. A nice little meat tube, mm -hmm. if I do say so myself. Uh, 
I mean, it didn't seem like it was in there that long, but. <laughs> no, I think the batter did some weird stuff there. Okay. So I think the most flavorful things here are going to be the onions. Let's see your pickles. Hummus. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. that's right. You need, you need to get tested. We have to administer. Yeah. A little bit of rice action in here. Oh, that's a little, a little unbendy. Let's see if we can't seal it shut. Watch out, I've got a good grip. And watertight integrity that we love in deep fried. It's like a, like a taquito. Yeah. A little bits of relish or something in there. Oh god, it smells great. Mmm. -hmm. Deep frying this one directly gives it a little bit of a bacony flavor and a little bit of an elk flavor, and mm -hmm. I really like that. It gives the meat a richness to it that you kind of find in the gamier stuff, but it's not too gamey, which is kind of why I point to elk and not like venison. We have broken through the strata. <laughs> this makes me so happy. This is like a meaty onion ring. <laughs> and it's so good. Like, imagine an onion ring with some shit in there. Like, some great meat. And the pita bread along with it. It gives it a lot of flavor. I'm really happy about this one. This is a star. This is a star. I'm drooling. Um, I'm doing a gyro. Gyro. For you other folks. Just let it submerge. Which caps were it? Does it sink Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh, come on. <laughs> four, four. I agree, Marv. <laughs> At least I have, like, oars to, like, hook onto to flip yeah. the order. One on the port and one on the star. Dargy, hearty, fly. Actually, two on each. I have no idea what the hell port and starboard and aft and yaw and pitch and wave. The easiest way to remember as port and starboard is that port has the same amount of letters as left. Really? Yes. That's gonna help me so much! <laughs> <sighs> Looks like the Jose Canseco of Gorgeous. <laughs> like I am not going juicing. to uh, finish all this thing. I'm just gonna... Probably pretty flavorful. I'm just gonna let it be. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Give me the other half in that shot, too. Juicy. It's juicy. Okay. <laughs> I think we got it. All right. <laughs> oh, that sounds amazing. It's just like the gyro meat and the crunch. And even having like the lettuce and stuff on there. Cause like, that's one thing that I hate about gyros a lot of times, like when they put the lettuce on there. Like, that shouldn't be on a gyro. should just be, like, tomato and fucking onion. That actually does not detract from this. It actually helps it. Tzatziki! Yeah, sorry. <laughs> You're that. right in the way. I know, yeah. <laughs> My bad. So let's put some sauce on there. Yeah. Towards the outer regions. <clears throat> it did soak up a little bit more oil. But I don't care. That's just so good. As much as I love euros, like they need to be crispy. Like they need to make like gordita euros. Like that'd be fantastic. Get out of Taco Bell! Yeah. yeah, seriously. So yeah. Deep fried Mediterranean food. Pretty fucking good, man. Mmm. Things and stuff. Do things and stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Follow Lofi Mole Ass Bitches on his Twitch, twitch.lofimolasses.tv. I think that's what it is. It's something close to that. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I don't do this very often. Suck it, nerds. Peace out.